a good rapid fire speech satyaprasad garu anyway for all the department of revenue from andhra pradesh my friend colleague and most lovable person sri anagani satyaprasad garu minister of revenue and all the hard working department people ms g jay lakshmi garu special chief secretary and then prabhakar reddy garu and my constituency mla c ramajanel garu and my wonderful department of land records secretary and joint secretary shri manoj joshi ji and kunal satyadhi ji and for all the distinguished and accomplished officers that came from across the india including 31 states and union territories five centers of excellence and survey of india people and mp state electric development corporation who involved in developing the software and all the state officials all of you a very warm welcome and thank you for taking the pain to come all the way to the guntur i hope guntur has been treating you well because this is a very warm place not only warm it's quite burning with chillies around here so i hope you will get to enjoy some delicious food and uh, this conference will be successful to you and it gives me even more happiness because you know guntur has been quite neglected for a long time and having such a high quality national conference in guntur gives me a personal satisfaction so when it comes to this conference as you all know land is not just a physical asset in india it is a symbol of identity security and dignity more than 90% of the people the land and property is the single most valuable asset however still inaccurate or outdated land records have long been the root cause of widespread disputes delays in development and denial of justice and if you look at it in the entire civil court structure around 2/3 more than 60 70% of disputes are related to land even in apex courts like honorable supreme court one in four cases are related to land disputes even as an mp when i do grievances in my own constituency majority of the complaints come to me for similar reasons so these statistics do represent what's happening at the ground i don't know how many of you know who i am but i was in us for 25 years i went to us in year 2000 i bought my first house in year 2005 there so the process was i chose a realtor who showed me several houses i picked a house we are going to buy this house and he some price was set then he told me sir uh, today there will be a date we are going to close the house he gave me a date then he said okay what all do i have to do because i remember the registration process of india where do i have to come how much time i have to spend what are all the things i need to do he said no 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 you don't have to do anything you just stay between 11 and 12 at your house this is what they told me so 11 o'clock three four people came a title company a government official and my realtor 
they handed me 10 papers to sign, one for insurance and uh, all these that I verified the house is in good, good condition, all that stuff. I signed in five minutes. They asked the check. I gave the check. They gave me the keys. The entire process happened in less than 15 minutes for me. I was literally shocked. How can this whole system can work like this? But the idea, I mean, why can't we do these things in India, right? And obviously, India has progressed quite a bit since that time. And with visionary leaders like Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, or my cabinet minister, you know, who has done an exceptional job in Madhya Pradesh, land records, digitization. And we are giving the technology to the world. And we have some of the brightest minds in this room. I mean, brightest minds, you are all the IAS officers, all the people that have worked you know, so hard to get into this, these positions. Everybody is there. The only thing that's missing here and there is the political willpower that we want to do it and we want to make it 100%. So, as they have said, there are several components. We have done a good job in right of records. More than 90% has been completed. The survey and resurvey is the main thing that's pending. As Kunalji has mentioned, these were done 100 years ago, right? British 1880 and 1915. And some states like Northeastern and Union territories, there were never original cadastral surveys. And I understand there are some issues. When you try to do it, there are a lot of manpower issues, administrative issues, and you have to deal with all the disputes, and you have to have a mechanism to resolve them in a quickly time manner. So these are all the issues. We understand that. But the government is central government. That is why the central government has taken this initiative. States have to spend zero amount of money. We're giving all the money to perform the activities. And it's probably there are very few situations where an incentive is given for doing the job what you are supposed to do. How many programs does that? And we must appreciate the government of India, whether, you know, finance ministry, Modi ji, or my department people to come up with these great ideas and doing it in a positive reinforcement manner. So there is no reason, in my view, that we should not be able to complete this in a timely manner. Now the technology is even more accurate. The Andhra Pradesh has given me, in a presentation I looked at it, less than 1% variation. And the cost is less than 10% compared to the historical way we used to do by using the latest technologies. So I hope, and if you look at Andhra Pradesh, you know, we came 10 months back into the government. We noticed that this program exists in rural development. So I talked to all of our people and they were able to do quite a few villages, more than 6,000 villages within six years, six, uh, within one year. And they draw close to 300 to 400 crores incentive package. I mean, it's a free money in my view. So I hope, I hope and I wish you do that. And then the Naksha program. So not only the rural, Naksha is being done on a pilot process. As you all know, the urban land records is another major issue. Urban land prices are increasing. There is a vertical rise of buildings, apartments, so it is creating even more problems. And for financial planning of the municipalities, revenue generation is an important aspect. So the urban land records are also extremely important and it has its own incentive package. I hope you also take that into consideration and participate in these whatever pilot programs that we are doing, 
and hopefully once that is successful we will be able to deploy across every major city so with this i don't have to explain you the importance of these land records as everyone has said banks can confidently extend credit businesses can invest with certainty and farmers can get agricultural support and these are extremely important for small and marginalized farmers tribal communities and rural women for them clear land titles are not just a luxury they are essential and we are the reason we have taken this entire program is to bring the awareness so that each one can learn the best practices from the others find some creative solutions and execute from my part even i am writing letters to most of the chief ministers so that there is this program available and make use of it and i hope with all these efforts let's build a nation that is no longer a source of confusion and conflict but of trust security and prosperity the journey from bu vivad to bu vishwas begins with us and the time to walk that path is now and finally i wanted to say one thing about my state now you have come to guntur this is a you know 100 200 year old place but we are building a magnificent capital just within the vicinity and this capital is going to be nothing like anything else in india it will be most beautiful with a lot of greenery wide spaces everything under the ducts developed by international architects and being executed rapidly and this is all being done by a visionary an inspirational leader and my respected chief minister honorable sri nara chandra babu naidu garu and i hope when we do this program next time we will be able to host you there and even if you go and visit that place as of today actually 2 3 months back i went to that place when we were supposed to build this capital in the last 5 years but we did not have the mandate public mandate we sat in an opposition but the work was started between 2014 and 19 there were three universities that were built if any of you see them you wouldn't believe that you are in india there are couple of those are actually better than the universities in america and i am not kidding if you get a chance go and see but once this beautiful architectural masterpiece is done you will be delighted and i would welcome for all of you to come and visit again once again thank you all so much for being here and once again thank you for my department for making this possible here thank you one and all thank you thank you so much now we are